there we go. Hello anyone in there watching now or later, and welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. Uh, with me, Hilda, uh, well, yeah, I messed that up, but actually maybe I should change the, <laughs> the intro to that, that I used the actual game name in the first part. Anyways, uh, welcome to Hillian's Hub, me, Hillian, along with... Oh. Ah, <laughs> Rick here! I'd forgotten about Rackham. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, well, uh, and yeah, welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island, aka Monkey Island Three. And last time, uh, we interrupted a uh, attempt at a quarter shop quartet or something. <laughs> at least the pirates were singing, uh, or rather, I'm not sure. If, <laughs> uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, go look up a pirate I was meant to be on YouTube, and you'll see. <laughs> Anyways, um, we lost our map to um, Blood Island. Yep, Bl Blood Island it was. And uh, yeah, we kind of need to go there to find Elaine because the stupid monkey and his crew buried Elaine there for, for some reason. Uh, Haggis. Yes. So yeah, we we're at the Wait. start of a new thing with this uh, game, uh, ship combat, and I have absolutely no idea of how to actually do that. Yeah, and I think you rem rem remember this a bit wrong. Was it the ring that will that will take away a curse on Blood Island, or did they, for some reason? Bury her on the same island as the ring. Yeah, the, the ring is certainly there, but hmm, I I, for, I forget if we really if they really did bury her there. So, well, it, it does make sense to go get the ring first because uh, Elaine is currently like half a ton of gold, so it would be a bit difficult to haul her around. Gold is quite heavy. What am I doing here? Well, Captain Fripwood, if you air be hoping to defeat this Scalawag Rottingham ship to ship, we'll be needing some bigger cannon. So, lad, I say we tackle some of the wee pirates that prowl these waters. We'll seize their treasure and use it to buy new weaponry back at Puerto Pollo. Okay. Never mind. Um, so, basically, we're going to be picking on a bunch of other pirates. Okay, there's Porto Polo and oh, there's Rottingham. We can't take him on, but we can. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, we can move around like this. Uh, can we just straight up board these guys? Okay, right click fires cannons. Uh, there is a reload to it, it doesn't show it. Okay, yeah, these are really oh. weak cannons if they can only spit that far. We could probably spit farther. Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. What with the face? Your ha! Uh, let's see, now we're back at <laughs> insult swordplay. Uh, let's see. You're as repulsive as a monkey in an English egg. I am rubber, you are glue. Oh, this is well animated. Oh yeah, at least consider how full, how old it is. Yep, this this is a high hand drawn animation, both the anim the both the characters and the backgrounds. And yeah, if I remember correctly, all of the insult fighting has to be has to rhyme. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah, this looks really, that looks really smooth. You're the ugliest monster ever created. Oh, yeah? <laughs> um, this guy's even worse than Treepwood. You win! Give me your treasure. Take it. It was cluttering up me hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. Okay. Then we use this thing again. Uh, not the inventory. And head back to Porto Porto. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a grindy area. Hello. Well, well. <laughs> Someone's made an upgrade. 
I guess you've learned an important lesson about cheating. What I sure have, mister. Golly, I'll never cheat on anyone ever again. Honest, I've got a new business now, and gosh, it's swell. What is it? I'm running guns. Tell me you're lying. <laughs> I never lie anymore, mister. You've shown me the light. Can I interest you in some shrapnelizing ammunition designed to bring exquisite pain and unreasonable suffering to all your enemies? I'm a fearsome Oops. pirate. Yeah, well, you may be a pirate, but you aren't a fearsome pirate unless your ship is equipped with the latest in offensive weaponry from Bob's Big Four Bruno <laughs> Brand Cannon Incorporated. However, I see that you are a pirate ready to take that first step towards becoming the ultimate fearsome pirate. Today, customer name here, uh, <laughs> what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Leapgood, <laughs> I can offer you the complete line from Bob's Big Four Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated. To start with, we have the entry-level model, the Buccaneers Buddy. We also have the following cannon models available. The Ouchmaster, the Homemaker Deluxe, the Pain Giver 2000, Mr. Massacre, and finally, the cannon used by that most fearsome scoundrel, Rene Rottingham himself, the Destructomatic T-47. So, can He's I going along with this. These models, mister? May I say something here? Yeah. Let, let's let's take a look at the cannons here. I noticed something about them here, like that one. No something odd with that? They are a scope. Yeah. And this we also have a high... Air. That one is a more high-tech one, and we also have a ballista. Yeah, and just a fat mortar. Yeah, I think, the, I think they don't know how you're supposed to aim a mortar for that way. Yeah, and then we even have missiles up here. <laughs> I miss those. What the heck? And I think those are bronze cannons, which actually was a thing. But was a time where bronze can cannons were more common than iron due to... I think it was cheaper and easier to repair. Yeah, it's a softer metal. It, it would probably also need repairs more often. Yeah, dude, it was also a lot easier to make. A lot yeah. easier. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing things will be a bit sped up with this, so let's see if we can get the Destructomatic. I'll take the Destructomatic T-47. You just ordered the Destructomatic T-47 armor-piercing carnage delivery system with auto-loading and fax motor. Quite <laughs> what? a fine piece of hardware if I do say so myself. Now, will that be doubloons, jewels, captured maidens? I beg your pardon? Holes full of booty. Well, the amount in your treasure hold is not enough for this model. Not even if I take your old cannon and give you credit for the trading. Okay. Are you interested in a less expensive model? Oh, uh, we, they're probably going to... I'm guessing we're going to have to go with uh, whatever... <laughs> whatever, yeah, bargain bin cannon he has. I'll take the Buccaneer's buddy. The Buccaneer's buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yep, we got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. I'll have my mom install your new cannon product. <laughs> While she's at it, I'll also have her pick up the appropriate amount from your hold and pick up your trade-in. Mom! Yeah, uh, guy's a little cartman, isn't he? Elizabeth, uh, he's more respectable compared to Cort uh, Cortman, though. Yeah. And uh, I say this to people, I... But some, some season of South Park I sort of like, but most of South Park I don't like at all. And if there's one character I really can't stand, it's Cartman. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, the way into town with this big pile of cannons. <laughs> Can we shove him? I couldn't lift those. And uh, we certainly can't talk to them. Nah. Okay, I'm guessing we can just move back to the ship then. Yeah. yeah level two oh, yeah. cannons. If I remember right now, one of the reasons... Yeah, one of the reasons bronze cannons were popular for a while was... 
when an iron cannon had an entire crack, it was extremely yep. hard to repair. Sometimes it was impossible to repair. But if it happened to a bronze cannon, it was an easy fix. Yep, that was easy. Board a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. I've come to plunder your treasure. Arr! Let's see. We're going to need replies to these insults, most likely. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Yeah, that, that, that really is smooth. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Hmm. Killing you would be Smooth? justifiable yeah. homicide. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You hmm. win. Give me your treasure. Yeah, reeking, musty, stench-soaked freebooter. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Okay, is there a way to? Oh, there we can. We can check. Hmm. I feel like someone is gonna take that out. Yeah, I feel someone is gonna take that out of context. <laughs> it's as good as guaranteed with this series. Uh, speaking of this series, there has been a bit of oh, there has been a bit of a shakeup since last we streamed this, and that is that uh, a new game has been announced. Yep. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure nobody saw that coming, especially me, which means that, uh, yeah, we'll be extending this series. We get one more game uh, when we, yeah, well, it, it, by the time it would release, we've probably already, you know, we'll probably still be busy with this series. Yeah, uh, for, I think, I think the, the announcement is announced it's, it's coming out this year. Yep. That face. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Okay, finally we get some people with I'll actual reply. You night and day. The air is much less humid around Santa Fe. <laughs> I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Um, okay. It did sort of rhyme, but not enough. Have treasure. Hand it over. Okay, okay. But can I keep the case of coleslaw? What would I want with a blasted case of slaw? <laughs> well, uh, what? A swift take down the uh, packing order. What's a coleslaw? Uh. It's a dish. Oh, hello again. Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. I'll see you, Captain Irons, first. Let's see. Yeah, now we have more to choose from. And so let's see what he answers to his own insults. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Okay, this guy is where we're going to get this from. Or cremated. This isn't going as well as I'd anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. Okay, I do like that they're giving rhymes, but not good ones. Ventifrous helps prevent tooth decay. <laughs> Give me a treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? <laughs> good point. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is this might take a bit of time. Let's see. Rottingham, we should avoid. Yep. A fight, you found one. Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. Good luck, boy. Now then. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. I'm shaking. I'm oh, shaking. Okay. Would you like to be buried or cremated? With you around, I'd prefer to be fumigated. Ah. Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. I wonder if the rent on my ship is prorated. 
<laughs> what? I've never seen such clumsy swordplay. Oslo is the capital of Norway. <laughs> but that's true. Give me a treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. <laughs> okay, we at least we're making some progress. Hmm. <laughs> Rotting and having a bit of a seizure, getting stuck in the corner. You'd best sail away before you get hurt. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Okay, that's a good one. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. I like music that's syncopated. <laughs> Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Okay, now we've got a bit more back and forth. Uh, let's see. We've had one to that. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. Oh, come on. I'll hound you night and day. Oh, come on. He's just... Uh... You win! Give me your treasure. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Okay. My guess is that we'll just have to defeat a few at a to get our, up the uh, <clears throat> the funds needed. And again, we might be able to just go straight for Rottingham. Uh, as, as long as we can counter his insults. And yeah, the flag here is showing the way in, in which the wind is blowing. That was a completely wide shot. Uh, <laughs> that one came short. Okay. There we go. If you're looking for a fight, you found one. Your treasure or your life? No. I'll take your booty. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. You would have, but you were always running away. <laughs> <laughs> you're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh, we don't actually have one to that. So. I set my blender to frappe. <laughs> I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Um, which one was that? That one. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Um, let's see. I'll hound you night and day. It'd be a good dog. Sit! Stay! <laughs> Give me your treasure! Okay, okay. But can I keep my copy of Leech's The Medical Miracle? Bah. I have no use for that. I'm a faith healer, I am. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's see. Oop. Okay. I have no clue what happened there. Okay, I guess there might be a safe zone around the corner here. You'd best sail away before you get hurt. Your treasure or your life? Arrgh! All right, let's see. Uh, You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. <laughs> Don't let Elaine hear you say that. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Now, come on, at least give her at least give us a reply to that. I just realized something. They all missing a finger. Yeah, they they're all animated with four fingers instead of five. Including you. No, I'm pretty sure I saw you've been exterminated. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw other characters have five fingers. Hmm. You win. Give me your treasure, you wax-covered swab. Take it. 
It was cluttering up the hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. Okay, I think I get what we're supposed to be doing. And after each victory, we rush back to the, to the harbor and uh, get the next level of gun because the value of the one that we have is goes up. So we should be able to trade in for bigger Thank ones. You, mister. What do you have for sale today? Today, customer name here. Uh, <laughs> what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Cheatwood, <laughs> I can offer you the complete line. Yeah, he's doing that on purpose. Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated, the Ouchmaster, the Homemaker Deluxe, the Pain Giver 2000, Mr. Massacre, and finally, the cannon used by that most yeah, fearsome we're going to be upgrading Grenade along the way. Himself, the Destructomatic T-47. So, can I interest you in any of these models, mister? I'll take the ouch, master. Mom! <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's try and speed oh. things up a little bit. Uh, you, you have scopes on your cannon now. <laughs> I, I missed that. Uh, look, who is, okay, that's <laughs> quite a range. Ah, there they are. Okay, hopefully this won't take the entirety of the stream. That, that, that was easy. Uh, 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 I knew, but better. Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. You won't live to regret this. Uh, it looks intense. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Then killing you must be justifiable fungicide. Okay. Vanguard, touche. Uh, we don't have one to that. My, isn't this a lovely soiree? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance? Um, let's see. We've had we have one to clumsy swordplay. We have one to hounds. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Then perhaps you should switch to the caffeinated. <laughs> okay. Give me your treasure. Okay, okay. But can I keep my copy of Art of the Vichyssoise? I, I hate cold soup. <laughs> and that's a reference to the previous game. Where we made rats, Mrs. Ross. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, look at the cat. Never mind. Yeah, scope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The Ouchmaster. Not a bad little cannon. <laughs> okay, luckily it's only the cannons that we have to upgrade and not other things. What be you wanting? I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. All right, let's see. Annihilated, negligee, homicide. You're the ugliest monster ever created. If you don't count all the ones you've dated. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. My witty repartee. Hmm. The hawk and the eagle are both birds of prey. Oh, but it's true. Like uh, I'm not sure if we uh, this one then. Done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Well done. Uh, sword play, hounds, exterminated. Hunger, touche. Oh, that is so cliche. <laughs> he is right. I let you live if you give me your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. <laughs> At least I don't kill him for that, though. I'm pretty sure they probably tar and feather him just in case off screen. Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. Your treasure or your life. Wait, oh, ah! it's okay. It skipped the it skipped the battle now. Uh, let's see. Okay. Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. Too bad they're all fabricated. <laughs> I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Uh... With you around, I'd 
I'd prefer to be fumigated. Wrong one! Killing you would be justifiable homicide! Uh, that's and fungicide. Be justifiable fungicide. Um, hmm. A cremation one? My witty repartee. I could if you would use some breath spray. <laughs> oh. Ha! I beat you. I let you live if you give me your treasure. Well, if I had me, you'd be the first one to get it. Ah. <laughs> oh dear. How the. Some of us don't realize. Do you remember the other pirate game we played some months ago? Uh, Sid Meier's? Yeah. Very wonder, similar to this. Well, I wonder, was he inspired by this game? Your treasure hmm. or your life? Good luck, boy! I feel like we'll I have heard to, something. Like, we'll have to one. check which came out first. Yeah, for, I think Sid Meier's came way after this one. Uh, Brad spray, and then we get into the bad insults. Uh, let's see. Exterminated. Sour the buffet. I not. Do we have one? I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you. Okay, that's the one. I'll hound you night and day. Uh, that's the dog one. Then be a good dog. Sit. Stay. <laughs> he says it in such a chipper way. I feel like I heard something about Sid Myers was inspired by our game. It's, uh, like, probably Monkey Islands, this uh, part. I just expand upon it a lot. Would you like to be buried or cremated? With you around, I prefer to be fumigated. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're the ugliest monster ever created. If you don't count oh. all the ones you've dated. William! <laughs> Rude! I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. You would have, but you're always running away! <laughs> Give me your treasure, you sea skunk! Well, if I had me, you'd be the first one to get it. <laughs> okay, Wait, I is that an actual animal? Not sure, actually. Um, hmm. I have to check out, but I think I see sea skunk is a kind of a sea slug. That's well. Nope. Smells bad. It'd be fitting with the name. Okay. And I'll feed that your sea slug. Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. I'll and I mentioned. <laughs> It's a sea, sea slug. We meet one that uses that as an insult against you. Yeah. Okay. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breath spray. <laughs> You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. I think the first one to three uh, good replies uh, wins. Um. I think we have, I think we have a reply to each one now. Even the one with cremation? Yeah, that's the one that gets answered by fumigated. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. And that's the win to him. Yep. Give me your treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? <laughs> hmm. Okay, we've been at this for about half an hour. Let's see if we can maybe let's see if we can get uh, if we can take on Rottingham or if he'll just annihilate us on sight. Okay, that's loud. And he actually takes more than one hit. Okay. 
He is very slow, though. Of, of course, he because he's going against the wind, and that could have been a good hit. Okay, just circle around his ass and keep pounding him. This is actually working. And why is there digital noises when he fires? Hey, that was a hit. Come on, I should be able to take him. Especially if I keep cheesing him like this. <laughs> Miss. And I think we've we might, yeah we think I think we've hit one of the borders of the arena. What? <laughs> Why miss? Yep, miss. Yo, come on. No. Again. It's complete glancing shots. Yeah, this is rather a bad idea to be in his firing line. Come on. Should be able to take him if we just cheese it enough. No. Second too late. Come on, this should be doable unless we are required to get the better guns. Might be the case. Are we? Hmm. Now, what then if we can't break if beat him like this? Uh, how do we get out of this? Do we just let ourselves be shot to bits? <laughs> we We've already taken. Uh, yep. Okay, that's us. How humiliating for a pirate of my skill and experience. What skill and experience? <laughs> well, yeah, that confirms that we need to up our cannons. Wait. Wait, did we just get back to Rottingham? Yeah, it, it's making the same noise as before. Okay, we, well, we can't beat him, so we might as well sit and take it. We might have accepted taking the wrong pirate there. Yeah, but that Rottingham was appearing in the upper right corner, I think. Yeah, well. Come on. Hmm. There we go. Lost again. What am I doing wrong? While being you. <laughs> Let's see. Fearsome pirates. Where's Rottingham? You'd better leave now if you value your life. Your treasure or your life? No. I'll take your booty. Uh, let's see. I, th I think this guy is the strongest that we can face, so he has an answer to everything that we say. Hunger, touche. Oh, that is so cliche. I leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. So I'm not even sure if we can if we can beat this guy. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. <laughs> You're the ugliest monster ever created. If you don't count all the ones you've dated. And yeah, since he does the first strike, he's he is clear to win every time. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. I am rubber, you are glue. Oh, finally he trips up. 
Give me your treasure. Yeah, bath size sea sponge. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Okay, but this would probably take a lot longer if we didn't go for uh, yeah the simplified method of this. Back again, Mister. I'd like to buy hmm. some cannons for my pirate ship. Okay. Um, I doubt we can skip the line. I'll Let's try. Give her two thousand. Mom. Wait, we actually can. Okay. That's going to shake shave things down a little bit. God, look at the cannons! <laughs> Come on. It's, Air it's tanks? Like, it, it makes me think of flame cannons. Uh, the ones dwarves in Warhammer use. That's a powerful cannon. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can skip to the uh, the last one. Really fierce in pirates. Uh... They're you? these guys. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Okay, these must be the strongest that there are. Would you like to be buried or cremated? With you around, I'd prefer to be fumigated. And fumigation and... You, he must have oh, been this is a new one. Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't care for tomatoes unless they're sun dried. <laughs> killing you would be justifiable homicide. Then killing you must be justifiable fungicide. And then we use his own line against him because that's a new one. Uh, you're ugly, you're stupid, really, Kai Brush. That's the best you can come up with. Uh. Hmm. Wait, oh, his line isn't in here, so, okay, we have to fight someone else to get a, Every enemy I've met, a response to that. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Hmm. Open your hold, so I may take your treasure. Okay, okay, but can I keep the case of coleslaw? What would I want with a blasted case of slaw? <laughs> Right, that, ma that makes it sound like we actually still had some. If you're looking for a fight, yeah, found one. Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. No, I'll take your booty. Now, where is that new line? Ah, there it is. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. At least mine can be identified. <laughs> oh, come on. I've never seen such clumsy sword. Yeah, uh, that's the one about running away. Oh, well, you would have, but you were always running away. You're the ugliest monster ever created. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Okay, I guess the game is just letting us win now. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. <laughs> okay, the tone of him. You look like something that's died. Oh, another new one. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait until our tax forms are simplified. Give me your treasure. Well, if I had any, you'd be the first one to get it. Arr. <laughs> okay, one new line. And Rackham is probably... Or Brottingham. Why did I, Rack, Rackham is the one swinging around our ship? Uh, semi fierce and pirates, really. Okay, we. Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. I don't have any treasure, you know. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Yes, but I'm not lying now. <laughs> okay, if he doesn't have any pressure, I've changed my mind. I've decided to let you live. Okay, so they up the difficulty a bit to push you towards the more dangerous pirates. So you're a pirate, is she? Remember when you could afford a strong cannon earlier? Come to plunder your treasure. Mm. You won't live to regret this. Okay, where is that one? Celebrated with your reply. Ah, here it is. Heaven preserve me, you look like something that's died. The only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde. 
What? Okay. Would you like to be buried or cremated? Uh, you know those jars with uh, organs and such or something in uh, them uh, on display? That's in formaldehyde. Uh, With you this around, one? I'd prefer to be fumigated. Okay. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a bonus fillet. Anything new from this? Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. Okay, that we can use. Uh... You should let your conscience be your guide. <laughs> Give me your treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? Well, you can say one thing about uh, Guybrush and that he's a quick learner. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a pirate, is she? You'll have to prove it, says I. I've come to plunder your treasure. Good luck, boy. No, wait. Is it? Um. Mm hmm. Petrified. Those coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. Is that your face? I thought it was your backside. Oh! Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. <laughs> with your breath, I'm sure they the all. The mean one. <laughs> You're the ugliest monster ever created. If you don't count all the ones you've dated. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Uh, that's fumigated. I prefer to be fumigated. Um, wrong I'm one. Hmm. Ha! I beat you. I let you live if you give me your treasure. Well, if I had me, you'd be the first one to get it. Arr. Okay, this is getting a bit annoying, similar to the first Monkey Island, in that we had to just basically farm insults and such. There's Rottingham, really not fierce and pirates. Oh, Rottingham is coming straight for us. Can we pick on you? Yes. Ah, come on. I know that. Why bother then? I need the practice. Fair enough. I've changed my mind. I've decided to let you live. Okay, so we sort of need to just get lucky with uh, these guys. To see if they really? slip up. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. You're as repulsive as a monkey in an negligee. Oh yeah. Okay, now it's letting us win. Would you like to be buried or cremated? With you around, I'd prefer to be fumigated. And one to one. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Mm, yeah, because we got the first hit in, we're sure to win this. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. You would have, but you're always running away. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Uh, decaffeinated. That was the one for this one. Mm. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. And win. You win! Give me your treasure. You wax covered swab. Take it. It was cluttering up the hold anyway. We're <laughs> loaded with booty. Okay, hopefully this can just lead us make us jump to the end here. Because yeah, we've been at this for about 45 minutes. So yeah, well this could probably be fun. It's not really too fun for a stream where we might be making progress. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I really am a fearsome pirate. Well, you sure are a fearsome pirate, but think how much more fearsome you could be if you upgraded your set of Bob's Big Boar Boomer Brand Cannon to an even more powerful model. Okay, I wasn't really expecting a different reply there. I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Destructomatic T-47. Whoa, mister. You've entered a select group of pirates. Mom! Okay, now we go after Rackham. 
and finally move on from the re what <laughs> really <laughs> maximum firepower it's the destructomatic t47 armor piercing carnage delivery system with auto loading and fax modem why Wait, would we want fax modem on that just to fax him an insult <laughs> Uh, an insult they wouldn't even receive. Okay, here we go. If we click on Rottingham, it instantly jumps us into combat with him. And yeah, that is some big ass range on that. Yep. That was easy. You'll never get away with this, Rene. When I'm done, your body will be rotted and putrefied. Uh yeah. With you around, I'd prefer to be fumigated. Yeah, no, that was about Yeah, like in the first you game. Choice. You can be gutted or decapitated. Rene, bloody heck. I think I used to know someone, a woman called around, Rene. I'd prefer to be fumigated. Yeah, like the first game, we need to switch around Nothing things. This earth can save your sorry hide. Um, we still need to make it rhyme. Is that your face? Oh, I thought it was your backside. Okay, that was the only thing I think that My might fit. Were sold, are highly venerated. Venerated, venerated. Venerated, venerated. Um... Too bad they're all fabricated. Oh, yep, I did not expect ah, that to run to win. Your lips look like they belong on the catch of the day. Catch of the day, catch of the day, catch of the day. Uh... Then be a good dog. Sit, stay. No. Nope. Okay. How? What does a dog have to do Get with fish? Before I maroon you on the island of clumsy dental assistance. <laughs> what? Hey, yeah, we're going to have to figure out the replies to his insults because he's a bit more advanced with that. And what do you want, Monsieur Throbwin? Hand over that map or taste my sword. Hmm, this may prove amusing. Your mother wears a toupee. Uh, toupee, toupee. Francais? Oh, that is so cliche. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. My skills with a sword are highly venerated. Highly venerated, highly venerated. Uh, caffeinated? Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. Nope. I can't tell which of my traits has you the most intimidated. Okay, that's going to be fabricated. Too bad they're all fabricated. No. Okay. You'll find I'm dogged and relentless to my prey. Okay, that's going to be the dog one. Then be a good dog. Sit. Stay. Okay, it has to be more of a reply <laughs> to the entire Nothing thing. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. Um... <laughs> if you're planning on retiring, have money set aside. That's not going to be it. Um, hmm. I have no idea which one to reply to that. Hmm. Oh, is that your face? Oh, I, well, I think we did this side. earlier. Yeah, we're going to lose. Now get off my deck. You're scuffing the inlaid tongue and groove flooring. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is going to get annoying. There he is. Here for another whipping? I have you now. Never before have I faced someone so sissified. Sissified, sissified. Is that even a word? Oh, is that your face? Oh, I thought it was your backside. No, oh, that's it, actually correct. Ah, you have the sex appeal of a Sharpe. That's a what? 
Nope, and that was ink leaving the <laughs> the closet and knocking over the thing that was keeping it open. Uh, give me a second. And she's out. Yeah, she was napping in the closet. I look that much like your fiance. Okay, one more and we've won. My skills were so highly venerated. And that was fabricated, I think. Too bad they're all fabricated. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, he looks surprised. Fire blue. I cannot believe it. I have been defeated in battle. So give me that map, take your ship and skedaddle. You win, you win, <laughs> you'll get your map back. You were doomed from the start, you kleptomaniac. All right, all right, I give up already. It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady. Merci, I beg you, no more insults, please. Your smell and face remind me of moldy old cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Got the map back. Now we can sail to Blood Island. And part four. The bartender, the thieves, his aunt, and her lover. What? <laughs> what? Uh, chunky old 3D. And of course, we're headed straight into a storm. <laughs> uh, because it wouldn't be Guybrush without, well, Everything going wrong at every turn. Now, Guybrush is Murphy's Law incarnate. We've got to keep her on course for Blood Island. Van Helgen? I'm doing all I can here. Argus! Lend a hand! I'm barely holding on myself, mate. For goodness, when she's the devil's own. <laughs> <laughs> Because, of course, kills nothing on the knees. Only to you who traditional. And that's the end of the sea cucumber. Whew. I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee oh yeah, we already got her. Crushed. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Did I mention <laughs> that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. But why, Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But we've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're going back to being barbers? Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plundered Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It would have a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot. We, we already dug up Elaine and put her in the freaking crow's nest. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Yep. So we're back to this. Uh, with a bit over an hour to go. So let's start looting. Nope. Okay, so now we have a bottle and a cork. Captain Nick's shaving soap. It must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. Oh. It was not a message in a bottle then. It's a bottle of soothing hand lotion. Okay. You'd best believe in that. That there hand lotion be for the rough, dry skin that can often accompany ship repair. Okay. Hmm. We we'll probably need going to need to get our hands on that, probably by distracting Haggis or something. It's Haggis. Uh, Haggis. Hey. Mutiny's a big step. Uh, are you sure you won't reconsider? I lad, we're all agreed. We'd rather feel the spray of the tangler in our faces than the spray of the ocean. Are you sure you don't want to be pirates again? I wish you would. We'd all rather be cutting hair than cutting throats. Well, except for Bill. Well, of course. <laughs> um... How are the repairs coming? Well, lad, things could be worse. 
There's plenty of lumber on this island, so we'll be able to repair all the major holes in the hull. We'll also be adding a hardwood dance floor on the Lido deck. <laughs> nice. Hey, it's something we've been talking about for a while. When? <laughs> Hi, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't you be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. Tis but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye. And if we pirates didn't carry hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. Wow, <laughs> if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. We're talking guaranteed A+. And that A+, just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. Uh, and the game trolling us. Wonder how much they tricked with that. There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies of tar have been depleted. <laughs> how the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, um. unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey, I'd give you the whole blooming bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. Okay, so we need tar <laughs> or something like it because, uh, yeah, Guy was just kind of responsible for using all of that up. <laughs> yeah, and I just realized something. Uh, I forgot to mention, many Scotsmen wear underwear nowadays uh, with the kilts. Yeah, for good reason, because things can get pretty freaking cold and just, oh, hello. Looks like yeah. All right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. Yeah, we we'll um, probably want this. Nope. That ring is really stuck on her finger. The first thing she's going to do is fin when she's unfrozen is going to finish that punch, huh? Very likely. I don't think she can hear me. Let's see, a stump. Hey, a stump. Hmm. Mm, no. Okay, hey, so stump. This, oh, hello. It's that freaking shark again. Fireflies. Is it one shark so or three back, sharks? I, with my hands. Now, I, I think it's it, supposed to mean three, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's just one with three fins. Or hmm. three heads. Okay, we're probably going to need to capture those fireflies. Okay, so what, what, there. There, there's something with that. It has to be something with that damn thing, shark. What's this? Lost Welshman ferry line. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. Okay. Those advertisements were no lie. It really is crystal clear. Hmm. Are we going to run into uh, that captain from the previous game here or something? And there's an egg up there, but I don't think we can reach that. Let's see. Maybe? Anything over here? Only a way to that fire and lighthouse. If it is a lighthouse. Well, certainly a spot for, for someone to bid it on. Let's go check this Boy, anyways. Still a <laughs> freaking shark. It concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. Luckily, I don't need to adjust it. Okay. Uh, we've got a mirror here. There's a mirror now, but there's no light for it to reflect. This mirror will work fine. I don't need to take it. Okay, and there's a lantern post I saw pop up for a second. Uh, let's up. I suspect we're gonna need to fix this lighthouse. This lighthouse light would go if it had one. With all these broken windows, it's no wonder the light blew out. Yeah. Uh, let's go back down. 
I'm guessing that's a graveyard or something there. No, it's houses I'm interested. And the hello. Is that a voodoo mask? It, tiki okay. lanterns? Okay, it is a graveyard. No, no, no. no not Tiki, no, not Tiki. Uh, East Island statues. <laughs> uh, yeah, the lights are... <laughs> okay, they are called Tiki lanterns. This guy's lit up never fails to bring a smile to my face. Wait, what? We were called Tiki Lanterns. Oh, for love of... Let's see. What is this place? A restaurant? Feel the power Maybe? Of the ancient volcano got us in. Griswold Good Soup presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean. Starring Wilhelmina, temptress of the caldera. Nightly at 7. Okay. Um, seems the stage is broken. Yeah. Looks like it was quite a show. <laughs> Let's go inside. I don't think that... Oh, there's a cooking pot here. Can we take that? It's a big, heavy-looking cast iron cooking pot. I'm not going to carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. <laughs> okay, he's managing su to suppress his inner kleptomaniac. <laughs> oh, hello. Fortune teller, bartender, nacho chip maker. We have Grogman? <laughs> and a neon sign. Drink Grog. Hmm. Can we get in there? Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> Extended family size processed cheese food spread. I think this is the stuff they use to make nachos. <laughs> okay, that's a big ass what? cheese. I hope it's Gouda. Uh, it's I think I pronounced that wrong. Gouda. Um, just about. Uh, in Dutch, it's pronounced Gouda. Gouda. I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. Uh, refrigerator magnet? Big whoop, come on. <laughs> whoop the freaking do. Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. And here you said that they never mention the ending of the previous game, but I've been doing that yeah, several times it. now. Let's see. Uh, I very much doubt that we can get this. I can't pick up that entire wheel of cheese. Yeah, it's bigger than him. <laughs> All right. It it's bigger than you and me, even. Fork, can we take that? There's no way I'd be able to pull out that fork. <laughs> that nacho cheese sets like glue. <laughs> ah! I'm sure it's never. We been need it. Probably because they couldn't scrape out that hardened nacho cheese. Hmm. I think that's gonna replace the tar. Yeah. Hello. Mom Zima. Madam Eczema. Zima, Madam Zima, Madam Zima, Madam Zima. Mistress of the ancient arts of precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool, you're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. <laughs> Sounds like the voodoo lady has competition. She's a very atmospheric gypsy fortune teller. Let's see. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Please, keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. Sounds like someone's been drinking too much of their own stuff. And I think she just had a flash forward to whatever is going to happen to her if she stays near Guybrush for like five minutes. Do you know anything about the lost ring of Blood Island? I sense tremendous sorrow in connection with that ring. And a great part missing. A beautiful diamond. Where's the diamond? I see a dark cave filled with the evil men. And a place of death. A dark island in the form of a giant skull. Wait, oh. your hideout? 
<laughs> Sounds more like LeChucks, but yeah, we haven't seen him in a while, so he's he's bound to pop up sooner or later again. Tell me my fortune. Tell me my mm. fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. <laughs> I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So, are you going to tell me my fortune or not? I'm not God, kidding. Bryce. Okay, okay. <laughs> what the heck? What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Death. Oh, woman, stop that screaming. What is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? I uh, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> now, please go. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. Once again, it is death. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. The card says death. Hit me. Death. <laughs> How many of those cards do you have, anyway? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? Demon! Demon! Uh, I'm pretty sure there's only supposed to be one of each card in a tarot deck. Can we pick these up? Look! A three-headed monkey! Ah! Then the prophecies were true! <laughs> Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. They must have run away. This is a very bad omen. And that running gag returns and sprints right by. Let's see. It was there! Lord Porcelain? When will this nightmare end? Uh, no. <laughs> That's... It's a shameless ad for Grog. Hmm. Mm, pickles. Can we pick those? Ah, they go straight to my <laughs> hips. <laughs> Wait, what? Pirate potables. I must say I like pickles as well. Okay, we can steal the recipe book. An uh, empty jar. Yeah, pickles on liver paste. That bit is good. Leave that alone. And someone kill that man with a jackhammer. Uh, okay, now you get awake. Ish. It's full of brochures for Big Whoop. The place for pirates and pirates at heart. There, we can actually take one of those. Uh, oh, someone needs to work on their aim. Ugh. Yeah, gross. Do we even want to? I don't carry around other people's spit anymore. I've grown past that stage. Yeah. Okay. It's the bartender. Oops. It's a picture of the galley of gravy. Oh, it's a gravy boat. I think that pun is going over my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush oh, 3.9. Really Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Okay, okay. I will explain to you, Helian. A gravy boot is... I don't know if that's the actual name or a... slang name for the little cup you have the gravy in. Okay, that I did know, but... Uh, no, I think it was some called something similar, but else, uh, but different. 
Hmm. Okay. Hey, let's take a look through here. I think he just mistook a gravy cup for a ship. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, can we move through these? Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that is the recipe that we need to make or something. Wait, hold on. Let, let, look at the recipe again. Okay, as soon as Guybrush is done walking up the stairs very slowly. Let's see, one look, barrel look of rum. With... Yeah, come on. Now you notice what I was eating at. Uh, rum, Rogers, rum, surprise. One barrel of rum, two flask rum, warmed. One jigger rum, three shots of rum, one teaspoon of rum, and cilantro. Combine all ingredients, season with rum to taste. If Ramond not available, substitute with rum. <laughs> He's back. Uh, He's back. Indirectly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, Yellowbeard's baby. This actually showed up in the previous game as well. Uh, one jigger vodka, one jigger rum, three uh, juice of three lemons, uh, three um, three milliliter phenylalanine. And cilantro, shake well with ice. A bloody stump, three cups of rum, two teaspoons sodium pentanol, one jig of gin, one jig of vermont, three cups tomato sauce, and cilantro. Everything's with cilantro in this, isn't it? Uh, blend our ingredients in lead container, serve warm with the half of one raw potato as garnish. What? And uh, blue whale, one jig of gin. Whiskey, vodka, grenadine, what? Jig and paste. Green dye number two, yellow dye number five, and again cilantro. That soda mixed with hook. Eh. Okay, blue, wait. What's a Jigger? I have no idea. Probably a sort of flask or something. No, not really a flask, but a small glass, probably. At Flemming tonic. Combine one part yellow beard's baby with one part blue whale. Mix until mucus green in color. Add cilantro. <laughs> but then, what is I cilantro? Think... Oh, I... I know I've heard of it before. I think it's another kind of drink. I might be wrong. And also, I'm pretty sure the other one you just, wrote, you just read about Flem is the one we used in the other game to make the speaking contest. Yep. Uh, also, I checked. I also saw. I already saw the bottom part of this. Let's see. The bloated tick. One cup of tequila. Two tablespoon maple syrup. One pound uh, sugar. The juice of one salmon bones. Five teaspoons curry powder. Two beets and cilantro. Drink tequila. Combine and discard remaining ingredients. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you say? Just drink it, killer fruit is away. Yep. <laughs> Swamp zombie. <laughs> one bucket mud, oh. one jigger whiskey, two teaspoon iron filings, one bat, two egg whites, dash of mocha, nine milligram penicillin, dash of snot, cilantro, mix well, serve over ice. What? <laughs> yeah. Appendix A, a pirate's first hangover cure. Clears foggy hats. One egg, pepper, hair of the dog that bit ya. Eh? Uh, um... Uh, that might be the, the drink or something. But, Let's see. But alcohol... Wait, what? Alcohol sensitive patients? Consult the physician before using. Do not mix with alcohol before operating rudders or other heavy machinery. Causes extreme, 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 extreme... Uh, drowsiness. Okay. And Appendix B. Chirosis, no signs by Captain William W. Dizziness, nausea, general unpleasant feeling, death. <laughs> if systems persist, treat with alcohol. Um. And Blonde Beard's top secret biscuit recipe. Two cups flour, two eggs, one teaspoon yeast, cilantro. That fly lava to taste. Ugh. It's a long day, but what do you expect? Yeah. Courtesy of the editor's friend's aunt, who was uh, charged 500 pieces of eight for a complimentary copy of the recipe 
and has distributed it for free in retaliation. <laughs> wait, wait, she... She had to pay people to share this recipe? And... <laughs> uh, yep, this page intentionally left blank. And then there's no more pages. Okay, so we need pepper and we need egg. What a chill music's gonna hear. Okay. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. Van Salad? <laughs> I can't pull it in. Okay. Well, makes me it's feel a bit name. more confident or a joke lost name I've been pondering for you. Oh. Captain Hillian Van Iceberg. <laughs> okay, we're going to need then that nail. Because otherwise it wouldn't show up as much. So we'll probably need a hammer or something hard to push it out. Wait, I just heard that. Lambert Chowder Good Soup, pioneer of crouton technology. He looks a lot like the guy at the bar. I was to say iceberg in Dutch and I forgot what it was. Yeah, iceberg. It's nailed to the wall. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Iceberg. All right. I thought you said ice bear. <laughs> Minerva Stronheim Good Soup, Baroness of Borscht. <laughs> there, okay. I, I, yesterday I learned what borscht is. It's base. It's basically mm -hmm. red beet soup. I forgot on that. Peter and Victoria Swa Good Soup, Marquis and Marquess of Consumé. Uh, what's with this window? It looks out onto the cemetery. I'd rather leave it open. There's a peculiar odor in this hallway. Okay. Are you concerned? Uh, let's see anything it's so here. It's so that I don't want to open it up. Okay. <laughs> Afraid you'll find some skeletons, guy rush. Oop. Oh. Oh. Uh, I was joking. <laughs> Uh, the Good Soups, A Life in Pictures by M.M. M. Good Soup. Wow. <laughs> I bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. <laughs> Looks comfortable. Nope. I can't reach it. <laughs> Timing, huh? <laughs> uh. I'm sure there's nothing in there except one of those hotel bibles. <laughs> no, I'm crying. I'm crying. Yeah, it's an old fashioned water carafe. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> God. <laughs> the timing of that. Yeah. Oh, it's been a while. I actually stopped cr laughing, cry. And this time completely by accident. The Murphy bed is so many times it's made a hole in the wall. Uh, oh! Yeah, we are, we're going to use this as some sort of catapult, aren't we? I guess we know how he died. Repeated use. <laughs> yeah, bang, bang. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, let's see, how can we weigh this thing down? And we still have, uh, actually... Nope. I can't reach him. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get launched through the wall at this rate, but it seems that we can't find anything else here. Not that I can see, at least. So, let's go explore the rest of the... Pla uh, <clears throat> let's go explore the rest of the island. And, uh, well, we, I, I guess that f fills the, <laughs> the, the prophecy of us running into death. Because, well, <laughs> we found a corpse. <laughs> Oh. Dear, I wonder who it is. Hmm. At least now we know why there was this special odor in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> Corpse stench. And are we going to start with these again? It says Tex Venture. Tex Venture. Te Wait. It's a pun. 
A text adventure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your company name here. Wait, wait, what? Really? Uh, for a moment, I was thinking it was the uh, actor from the <laughs> previous island. Blood Island Municipal Housing for the Deceased. That's one way of wording it. Uh, let's see. This crypt something, maybe? The Good Soup Family Crypt. Okay. Miller? Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer with a half twist of lime. <laughs> uh. What? <laughs> oh. Okay, going to have to deal with a dog again. Recycled tools. Uh, window. I hope the owner of this shack doesn't sleep in that. Yeah, that's a coffin. <laughs> Oh, a crack. I can't see anyone in there right now. Okay, makes sense as well. There's a big ass lock on the door. Wait, what's the dog's name? In the what? Yeah, uh, there's probably more on that. A, a old dog. Is it? Is it? Is it blind? It's a smelly old dog. It says old blind pew. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> and let me guess, if we try to take this, he'll gnaw our arm off. But actually, no. He's asleep. Pallet that we can use. Uncarved tombstones. Waiting for the limericks. It's a pile of new tombstones. <laughs> it's a scrap metal recycling bin. Mm -hmm. It does make sense. Oh, chisel. Let's grab that as well. And a sort of confidence. It looks like the grave digger is a little behind on his burials. Um. Someone should really learn to properly extinguish campfires. And we even. Mm, no. No, we've already you done that, that once. Do how do we take it? Hmm. I'm not sh entirely sure if we need it. Oh, hello, chimney. Hmm. Are they balancing the chimney with one plank? Um. About yeah. <laughs> Things about to come <laughs> down in any moment. What the heck? Okay. Um, at the very least, we should be able to get that nail now. But first, let's continue exploring further. Oh, hello, there's bats in that. So we don't need bats. Okay. You made them sad. And we have a windmill here, and then strange lights. There's another house up there. Ah, there is Guybrush. I for a moment I lost him there. I like that despite the massive in in graphical upgrades, when he moving men yeah, when he's moving around a map, he's still just a pile of pixels. Uh sharks. Yeah. And peppers, which we need. And don't get whacked by the, the windmill guy for us. Okay. Wait, That's the windmill weaving is 3D. Yep, pretty sure of that. I did not expect that. There's a barrel at the top of the windmill. Okay, can we open this door or... Okay, he did not get whacked like I was expecting him to. Okay, uh, what's with this barrel? It's full of fermenting sugar water used for making rum. Okay. Fermented? Mm, no. Uh, fermenting. Let's see. Is this thing's empty? No, it's not. Hmm. We still have these. 
these brochures from Wally. Um, is that everything here? Looks like it. Then let's head for the strange lights. So, what is this going to be? I don't think it's going to be Voodoo Lady because she said she's done moving around to chase after. <laughs> yeah. Oop, hell it. No, don't, don't tell me. This village is deserted. And yet it looks as if there's going to be a great feast. How curious. Okay. Well, I haven't gotten any use for this fruit. Chafing dish? Hex a chafing dish. It looks like kidney pie. Mm, no. Uh, ornamental skulls. It looks like a ship skipper, first mate, a professor, and the rest. Okay. Mm, no. Don't tell me we're going to run into the cannibals again. Hmm. What do you the volcano? It, it, oh, come on, a lemon head. Hmm. You look familiar somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. Oh, yeah. But it's more than that. We've met before, back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. Rent-controlled huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh! The whole place becomes trendy. Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. Oh, uh, hello there in the chat. Uh, uh, Laffy Lass. Uh, <laughs> hey there, doing well? Hello! Uh, yeah, w welcome to uh, the Curse of Monkey Island, where we're a good part into this game. I I'm not sure if we're past the midway point or not. And uh, yeah, it's these jackasses from Monkey Island again. Cannibals? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, it's true. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No? No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. Um... Really? That's fascinating. We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle, completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake, and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! <laughs> I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes, dip you in a light corn batter, wrap you in banana leaves, and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals, let you roast overnight, then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but, but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> right, right. Okay. We need to get um, up this island ASAP. Uh, 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 be right back. I think someone call is calling me. But see you soon. Okay. Nice I'm joking, folks. Thanks. It's not much, but we call it home. We've been doing our best to capture the classic charm of a headhunter village, while at the same time incorporating all the modern conveniences brought to us by the European explorers. You may have noticed our first state-of-the-art bloodletting clinic, which has been cleverly designed to look like a traditional shaman's hut. How quaint! Yes, we think so. And yeah, bloodletting, where they thought that just letting you bleed out would cure you of everything else. Uh, it would just kill you on its own. Yeah. Well, leeches do work. Do you... Problem is, you want the medical bread leeches, not just a random swamp leech. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to never get beaten by a leech, and uh, I intend to keep it that way, so long pants for the rest of my life. <laughs> Yeah. Do you live in fear of the fruit fly menace? Not since I switched to a malathion based cologne. Very alluring. Thank you. I don't even know what that is. 
I just realized Lemonhead on those do you not speak in all the games? Yeah, it was mostly the big head. Do they have think... you when you go through customs? You have no idea. <laughs> oh. I am Guybrush. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. Threepwood. <laughs> Mighty pirate. Yada, yada, yada. I am Lemonhead. Can I help you with something? Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? Oh, no. Mount Acidopolis is completely harmless. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all-powerful god of the volcano. The god of Sherman. the volcano likes spicy foods? Shut up, or I'll eat you. Okay. <laughs> when we first landed on this island, the volcano god was most upset. Belching out smoke, vomiting up lava. It was disgusting, really. And potentially hazardous. We uh, knew we had to do something to pacify the volcano god, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. But when we threw the sacrifice into the volcano, Mount Acidophilus erupted violently. We thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenylalanine. The usual. Then one day, we tried Bree. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. What happened? Sherman is lactose intolerant. Ah, <laughs> uh, it all makes sense now. Now, Sherman is on a very strict diet. He only gets fresh fruit, vegetables, and of course, soy products for the protein so important to muscle building. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> Lactose intolerant <laughs> volcano. Uh. Stand aside. I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific. I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. That's so unfair. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. When does the ceremony begin? It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for the volcano god. Human-like? Due to the delicate nature of the volcano god's digestion, we can't actually feed him real humans. So we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like a human, but it has a similar texture. So what's the holdup? We're still waiting for our featured guest. Uh, guest? Who's your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all part of a new cannibal outreach program between the villages. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. And he'd better be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. Okay, so that's going to be our way in. We're going to have to disguise ourselves as this ambassador. I really want to see the volcano. You're just not a cannibal. And your presence would defile the sanctity of our ceremony. Oh, can't you make an exception just this once? It's an emergency! I'd like to. But if I let you in, then I'd have to let everybody in. Next thing you know, cannibalism is in, and they're making documentaries about us. <laughs> All right. Gotta run. Bye. So I'm guessing we're going to have to smuggle cheese into here to add into that uh, <laughs> sacrifice. Yeah, I think I think there, 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 there aren't many cannibal tribes remaining. I think. Yeah. Uh, in part be because they have the tendency to die out. God of pudding. Yeah, either by conflict or in some ma more common cases nowadays, I think, is due to the side effect of cannibalism. Yeah, diseases. Yeah. Bullheaded God of tiny silverware. They're not Bull all of violence. Some are more of they only eat the uh, people that die naturally, like. Like they died of age or something. Yeah. Basically, you Very classy. Ugh, eat your you eat your grandpa and such. Like, yeah, they don't go out and kill people to eat them. Just if your grandpa dies, he gets cooked. It's a statue of Myron. Yeah, uh, and other garnishes. Yeah, Wait, that's what? one way of uh, always keeping a part of uh, him with you. <laughs> yeah. Did he just say the statue is made of? Parsnip? Yep, yeah, the, the god of par uh, parsley. 
It's a statue of Myron, god of parsley and other garnishes. Yeah, so how oh. the hell do you know this guy, Brush? <laughs> Did you try cooking? Anyways, let's see. Is there anywhere else that we can go? Nope. So, to the hotel it is then. And there was, there was a, <clears throat> a cushion here that we could interact with. The cushion is starting to come off this bar stool. Okay. Then we just take the entire damn thing. <laughs> I was thinking he'd pluck like a some of the stopping out. Okay, open this up so we can get the nail. And from there on I'll have to turn back to this <clears throat> to this tragedy guide. And the heck is okay. Black little sliver of Fabric somehow ended up on my keyboard. Anyways. Okay. Hammer time. Uh oh. Uh, um. Oh. I was gonna know we used the two. Yeah, knocked it down. So let's grab our little prize. Oh wait. I think I. I can't use the nail with that. Ah. Uh. I really think you are going to sabotage this thing. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, we can't take out the portrait or anything. And uh, oh, I think I know what to do already. Uh, there's a little, something else there that we can look at, but we'll do that once we've dealt with this. If this is how we deal with this, I think I think that transition is 3D animated as well. Let's. Oh, I keep forgetting at times. One nail will never be enough to hold down this bed. Okay. Looks like, no, I don't think it's street animated. It's uh, actually drawn. Yeah, the bed itself is, but it the, it opening up might be animated. Comfy. No time for that now. I've got a fiance to rescue. Hmm. Okay, one nail isn't enough. We have a pin, but that's probably also not enough. Hmm. Do we need something I'm heavy? Out. Do we need the cheese? Yeah, I think the cheese is more going to be for the tar substitute. So let's see. Okay, this first thing here on the guide is talking about the the bottle. But that was skipped because we are on the quote-unquote easy mode. Let's see. Haggis won't let me have the lotion. We already know that. Where's Elaine? We already know that. Voodoo Lady isn't here. Who can help me find a ring? Uh, ask the bartender at the hotel about the ring. Yeah, but he won't talk to us unless we give him a hangover cure. Uh, he's too sick to talk. You need to cure his hangover. Yeah, that could cure a hangover. Uh, there's a hangover cure recipe in the book. That's Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's the... Okay, we... The recipe is egg and pepper. And I think that raw egg is supposed... Is a... Is thought to be something that helps with hangovers, but... A as far as I'm aware, it does not. And eating eggs raw is not a good idea. So, yeah, do not try that at home. Okay. Egg. I think it depends on which country you live in. I think you can do that in Sweden. Still not, not recommended due to it. Not everyone has stone for it. But if you live in America, you should not do it. Um, for if you if you eat eggs raw and chicken raw in America, apparently due to the, the chicken there is imported from China, you will get sick for some reason. I uh, forgot what sick it was called. Salmonella. Yeah, salmonella was it? Yeah. I wish I eat our chicken here. You will not get the salmonella. You just well, just get the regular stomach poisoning instead. Okay. But you won't get some another for... Yeah, we have our own chicken farms. 
And yeah, what ends up, uh, some of what ends up in the chicken's feed ends up in, well, the eggs and such. Uh, let's see, where, where, there it is. One pepper, hair of the dog that bitch it. What is that going to be? Or does that mean that we need to mix up the drink or something? Blind dog. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, close this. And we have scissors, so we could get a snip of hair. Just don't get yourself killed now, Guybrush. Your smelly dog hair. <laughs> this can't go well. <laughs> oh no. I've avoided dog grooming ever since that tragedy involving my aunt's poodle. No. What? Should we even want to know? Yeah, is it enough that this blind, blind dog is sleeping in a casket? I don't think he'd like that. Okay. <laughs> How morbid. Okay, uh, can we just grab it then? Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, bloody uh... heck. I was expecting him to wake up and maul us. Okay. <laughs> now, how do we mix this? Or do we mix it in that jar? I can't use the dog hair with that. Okay. Um, hmm. What was that? I. Shh, just get me the ingredients for a hangover remedy and I'll talk to you. Okay. Here's some hair of the dog. Did he bite you? Well, not really, no. Ooh, then it doesn't do me much good, does it? Oh, is my well, head mm -hmm. ever ringing? Um... I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. <laughs> uh, guy versus not going to Here's like this. a wild this. pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, guide again, hammer, yes, cushion, yes, pepper, dog hair. How do I get it to bite me? Beating up biscuits? Oh, there, okay. Oh. He's going to bite his hand, isn't he? <laughs> well, going to be he needing the being to be bitten for it to work? Why does it need to be you? Okay, let's see what this does. Mm. <laughs> Ow, he bit me. <laughs> Easy enough. And what the heck? Then we just zoom around. Hmm. I don't remember if I've been actually bitten by dogs before, but I have been chased by them. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Thanks. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me <laughs> quietly mix up a dose. So I do not want to know how this would taste. Ah, much better. Yeah. You can take the rest. Okay, he's full of pep all of a sudden. What do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad <laughs> chapter in my family's history. My great aunt Minnie Stroney Goodsoup was a well to do member of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates, one in particular. He came into port. She fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic good soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the good soup family tomb. It is a sad story, is it not? 
Hmm? Oh, I'm no. sorry, I wasn't <laughs> listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Good loss, child ahead. Oh. Died, Brush. Let the heck go, Brush. Well, that explains the island of death. <laughs> How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island. Used to? Ah, one cold night, so the tale goes. The Welshman set out in his dinghy. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon. But the Welshman could see the distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When he'd rowed half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed. And the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing <laughs> in his ghostly dinghy, lost for all eternity. Creepy. <laughs> the flying Welshman. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You feel it is stealing is something from you there? <laughs> How's business? Oh, I need another drink. Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My only regular is a spooky old fortune teller who gives everyone the creeps. Uh, no offense, Fedems either. A pax on your first morning. Mm, yeah, that's right. <laughs> what happened to all the guests? After the place started to run down, they all checked out. All except for one. The guest that never left. Is this gonna be scary? Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel. Each followed by the most Horrible screaming and cursing. Then, one night, the sounds just stopped, but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning. I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter that hateful place again. Would you let me into the guest room upstairs? No. It is locked for a reason. Let no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. Is there another room then? Because we know that one guest never left. Yeah, and that one, unless that is supposed to be locked. Oh, uh, it might supposed to be locked on hardwood, possibly. Oh, that's quite a story. Years ago, this hotel was one of the hottest destinations in the Caribbean. People came from around the globe to see our world famous dinner show. You may have noticed the oddly shaped barbecue out on the patio. Well, no. Well, that barbecue was the centerpiece of our nightly entertainment. Isn't a barbecue the central attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities? Maybe, but no one else had a barbecue like this one. Every night the guests would gather round on the patio, and at precisely six o'clock. <laughs> you pick out the charcoal lighter fluid. Um... You'd make chewy, delicious s'mores? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm fascinated. Please go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt and the lava would flow down the side of the mountain and into the special trough that runs beneath the barbecue. The guests absolutely loved it. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds like quite a show. And then the cannibals showed up. And pacified it. Hmm. Oh dear. I, I have always wondered what it would taste like to grill over lava. But uh, that, that'd probably be a lot of toxic stuff in there. Like uh, sulfur. That would get don't. imbued into it. <laughs> don't. Don't. Don't try it. Don't. I forbid you. <laughs> you, you know what? I, I, I put, I'm putting you in the corner. <laughs> Now, I, I think one way that could work, but would kind of also defeat the purpose of it, is if you use some sort of airtight uh, bin or something to cook the stuff in, but then you'd just be using the heat like any other 
Well, you'd basically be putting it in a microwave, I think. Or making it into a lava... F a lava... fueled stove? Just replace the fire Doesn't with the lava. Fire well, we get a case of severe third-degree burns every now and then, but everybody agreed that it was worth it. That volcano was a showstopper. One day, the volcano just inexplicably stopped erupting. Without our main attraction, the resort just lost its appeal. We've gone downhill ever since, and the volcano hasn't erupted to this day. Tragic. Yeah, we need to find. We need to feed that volcano. Jeez. Maybe if you tried a more aggressive. Oh, dear. I tried everything: pamphlets, stickers, extensive print campaigns. I even tried passing out vials of my own blood imprinted with the slogan "My parents went to Blood Island," and all I got was this lousy plasma sample. <laughs> That's just gross. Well, with the benefit of hindsight, I suppose it is. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. Uh, Sorry I brought it up. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Um. I'd like something subtle with a hint of oak. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Old pack rot single malt whiskey. And are we going to go down? Ah, Papa Pichu. Here's your glass back. <laughs> that was a mug guy for us. <laughs> and again, <laughs> again, that native word for ouch. Mm -hmm. I, I, again, if, if we hadn't read that plaque on the uh, Papa Pichu boys, we'd probably would be getting ouch every time. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing else, so it's already unlocked. Hmm. Which means we're going to need to find more nails. So let's check with this. Uh, ta -da -ta. Let's see. Order a drink with um, what? Um, umbrella. <laughs> it already gave us the umbrella. Uh, missing ring. Yeah. I think Guybrush needs to die. How do I do that? <laughs> um, <laughs> that'd be a quick game over. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hangover remedy with a drink from the hotel bar. Okay. Uh, but why do we need to appear dead then? Okay. Let's order a drink, put in the hangover mixture because that uh, like makes extreme right drowsiness, cause extreme drowsiness. Still want to get wide. Yep, yeah, head be clear. <laughs> head be clear for clearing foggy heads. Okay, there. The bottle's closed. Yep, really? Well, at least he was nice enough to put a cap on it. Don't, don't tell me. Ugh. Darn childproof caps? I can't open it. <laughs> I think his inability to open it says enough. <laughs> okay, back to the guides. Uh, oh dear. A special tool. Use the chisel, okay? What? That opened it. <laughs> yeah, that opened it by taking off the entire top of it. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. And here we it just go. Just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull. Really? That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. 
Oop. In fact, I, uh... Uh... In fact, I feel, uh... Oh, great, another corpse to clean up. So then the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer. But I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? <laughs> Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. <laughs> when I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Yep. Nope. Rest in peace and all that. <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> Zero out of 800 points. <laughs> Really dead? Okay, yeah, this is way before Sidney's game. Oh, come on, cut it out. <laughs> okay, that makes two games that I now know that pull that. Uh, it won't open. I'm trapped. Uh, do we need to hammer out the nails? I can't use the mallet with that. Uh, which one are we in? This one? I'm in the middle one. Okay, he is in this one, I think. Help! Also, why the hell did you even want to get in here, Guybrush? Oop. No, that worked. <laughs> and now we can get these... Uh, Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. Uh, the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. <laughs> Guy brush. <laughs> okay, let's take these. And use that to hold down the beds. And... Can we make a pair now? I already have a nice skeleton arm thing. Nah. Uh. I think that knocking is coming from inside this coffin. Also, that uh, the graveyard keeper might want to uh, do a bit of a better job at <laughs> all of the dead lying around. That guy was so bloated he burst his coffin. I can't open it. Okay. That's not good. Uh, at least it's only skin and bone now, so <laughs> all of the nastiness should be over. Okay, what horrible thing are we going to find here? <laughs> the fucker. I'm glad to be finally out of that thing, even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there. Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes. Well, uh... of course. Guy brushed the uh... wood. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I've been meaning to. No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know, to think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son, but live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, yeah. dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? And immediately. Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? <laughs> I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs <laughs> are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. How the hell did you switch coats in that thing? You've been locked in that coffin. How are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Hmm? 
We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. Really? <laughs> Uh, fucking Stan. And he's back in his coat from the first game. The one that does it, not move. Except it's purple instead of green this time. Uh, La, you know what, what he learned? You know what? Give him a minute. I, 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 cannot, I, I cannot do what you failed. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the uh, bonk of doom. It's Stan. You have nothing more to say about that, <laughs> I guess, for all the better. So let's just get the hell out of here before a little stomper puts a hole in the floor. <laughs> I will give, the, I'll give you a guarantee. He, he looks less obnoxious here compared to other games. Yeah. And if that works on that crypt, does it work on this crypt? Locked. No, it does not. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Stan. Yeah, the voice! That voice! Uh, I, I, I feel like... I think he's an embodiment of something people hate to this day. Annoying salesmen. Yeah, the only, I'm pretty sure even annoying salesmen okay. hate annoying salesmen. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? <laughs> Fine, be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. <laughs> um, okay, we are at the time limit, but let's at the very least move in here so we can deal with this next time. And actually just open it up as well. It, it does look like it's a bit animated to me and not drawn. Yeah, it, 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 it's the same case with that door in the uh, first intro in Amphibia. It, 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 looks a, it looks a bit off compared to the drawing around it. That makes me think that it is animated. Maybe animated by a split moment. Okay. Now, before we forget, let's just do this. And then we'll call it here. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. I might need one more nail. Uh, yep, one more nail. A big one. Yeah. There. The bed has been nailed down. That ought to do it. And I'm a bit curious what would have happened if we stepped off this thing uh, with without the extra nail, but oh well. <laughs> For oh now, dear. though. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's make a save. New save, uh, Battle Bones, there we go, and yeah, <laughs> wait, does he have, he has something in his eye. Yeah, I was to say, uh, it, is that a glass eye, perhaps? Maybe. I guess I hope so. Uh, we'll, we'll find out next week, for now though. Uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later and thank you for showing up and chatting a bit uh, Levy Lass and of course thank you as well Hedrick here Oh you're most welcome my friend And yeah tomorrow we have Showcase Sunday uh, I'll have to double check and test which games will be well shown then and beyond that next week we'll be starting with Dark Souls Genesis <laughs> And after that, we'll actually be out. We'll be actually be done with the schedule that we've been going for a month or two, three now. I don't I even know remember <laughs> how long that four. started. I think more. Hmm. Oh, four wow. months, probably. Hmm. Not too sure, but oh well. We 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 were busy. Actually, could be four months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could check it out by just checking when we started with Dishonored or Dark Souls, but for now, uh, yeah, Dark Souls Genesis next week, tomorrow, four games that we'll be trying out. <clears throat> but until then, thanks again for watching, 
And until then, have a nice day. And yeah, until then. Be safe, folks. And uh, don't get trapped in beds, please. <laughs> See ya. See ya.